High winds and dry air causing field fires. I'm Jill Lamkins in Greenwood. We're in an effort to stop a large field fire here. Part of Highway 6 was shut down and neighbors were told to evacuate. Now we're learning what happened and how neighbors are feeling following the event. Drone video taken by Cass County Emergency Management shows firefighters working to stop the flames before they could spread beyond this bean field. Waverly Fire Chief Ryan Mueller says the early investigation indicates it was caused by a mechanical failure on a combine. Wind, wind drove it. Um, there were some houses in the area. Law enforcement did evacuate those, make contact with them, sent them to Waverly to a safe location. One of those neighbors who evacuated was Amber Asperdon. We talked with her just as she was returning home. Because it was directly south of here, and the smoke was, was so bad at times you couldn't even see out the windows. Asperdon's fiance owns the land, and even though she knows combine fires are possible, seeing flames this close to home is scary. You just go into survival mode, though. You know, you just do what you got to do, and and um, yes, I was very fearful, but it, you know, it would it would take everything that we have. But you know, like as long as that we were safe, that's truly that's all that mattered. While neighbors like Asperdon were told to evacuate, the town of Greenwood was under a shelter in place order until first responders could take control of the fire just a few hours after it began. Farmers also came to help using machines to dig fire lines. Firefighters asking them to be careful in the fields while this dry weather continues. A lot of the farmers I believe right now are on standby with a tractor and disc. Even if it's not their field, it's a neighbor, they're seeing smoke and they're coming our way. The Waverly Fire Chief tells me that crews have wrapped up operations and that people continue to be careful with flames. In Greenwood, I'm Jill Lampkins.